Today, me and one of my dogs are gonna walk through the woods behind my house and just see what's back here. I've seen beavers, badgers, snakes, lizards, all types of stuff back here behind my house. I mean, it's insane. Packed with wildlife, packed with plants. It's actually right behind my garden. There's a retaining wall, this protected area. So this is wildlife, heaven back here. There's so many things that um, are unexplored back in this area. I know there's poison ivy, bugs, ticks, but me and my dog are gonna go back here and just see, maybe we can collect some sticks, some things that's fallen down, uh, bake them and put them in my enclosures. No, that's the main reason. I also just haven't been back here all year. As you guys can see, it's, it's super overgrown. That's just gonna make it more fun. So let's knock some of these uh, bushes down, make ourselves a path so that we can just go down there and explore, man. I'm super excited. Dudes, come. Come on, let's go. Come here. Come. That's Deuce, my American bully. One of them. I have two American bullies, but Deuce is the young one. He is also the more skittish one. So I don't know why I decided to bring him, but, oh, actually, Diesel's in a cone. So Diesel has some type of like skin infection. He's gonna be in, the, in a cone for a little bit. So that's why I'm bringing Deuce instead. Diesel will probably be leading the charge. He'd knock down everything in our way. He's definitely more of the adventurous one out of the two bullies. He's definitely the more adventurous. I'm gonna take a stick, knock down some of this stuff. This is insane. If you guys can only see what I see. It's a squirrel. I know you want the squirrel, but let's go back here. Honestly, I couldn't tell you what half of this stuff is. And I don't know the difference between poison ivy and a regular leaf. I think that might be some right there. Somebody let me know in the comments if that's like poison ivy or poison oak or something. All I know is if I'm itchy tomorrow, I know exactly why. It probably wasn't the best idea to wear shorts either. I mean, look at my outfit. Honestly, I feel like my dog should be leading the way. I actually don't think this is possible to get through here today. This is way too overgrown. I should have waited till the fall. Let me know what you guys think is gonna happen back here. I just feel like this isn't a great idea. But hey, things you do for content and for your animals. I mean, in this protected area, never, nobody ever comes back here. It's right behind my house. I mean, people can't, don't even walk through here. Oh, look at these. I have no idea. Are these grapes? What is this? Does anybody know? Wow, it is some type of vine. So I would say grapes. How would these grow, though? No, they're soft. Okay, so I'm in Virginia. Growing Zone 7B. I know I'm going to have some gardening people on this because I garden as well. Let me know if you know what these plants are in Virginia growing zone 7B. They're growing like naturally here. I didn't put anything back here. I put nothing here. And every year, this area gets more and more robust and filled with stuff. And I've been trying to figure out why my hand is wet, but my dog keeps licking it while I, while I have my hands down, so that's that. His priorities are messed up. He's supposed to be leading the charge through the woods. Instead, he's trying to take the stick that I'm using to get us through here. Hey, drop it. Come on, let's go. Go. Deuce, no. Let's go. Through the woods. So I don't have a GoPro guy, so it would be easier for me to do this kind of stuff. 
Let me know if you guys have silly dogs like this one. He's literally not helping me. He's literally not helping me one bit. Oh, that's a big spider web. Can't really see. You can't see the spider web, but I can. Okay. Sorry, I gotta take you out, buddy. I don't need any spiders on me. I'm already itching. And I'm not even a whole five minutes into the, well, I'm five minutes, but I'm not even far. Like, this is my house right here. Literally, I'm right behind my house still. I've been here for about 10 minutes. It's just so thick back here. It's like, this is a literal adventure. I just want to make it to the creek. Once we make it to the creek, my stick broke again. So now I'm even short of a stick now. Now you guys can literally see it in the camera. This is like the Amazon of Virginia. I could totally click bait you guys and say that I'm walking through the Amazon right now. I can completely click bait you guys and say that I'm walking through the Amazon right now. And plenty of you guys would believe it. But I'm not. I'm in... Suburb Virginia. Nothing like the Amazon. But honestly guys, I'm getting nowhere, so this might be the end of this video because I'm stuck. Like, I'm literally stuck here. Oh. Home free. But not really. Look at this. Like, literally look how thick it is back here, guys. We're not going anywhere. I think we might be stuck. You can't even see the house anymore. We're stuck. The dog doesn't want to come through. He's in there somewhere. Stuck. There he is. You say hi? We're in there. But I think this might be the end. Honestly, haven't seen anything. I might have to come back out here in a couple months when it's less thick. Or I need to come out here with pants and a machete to cut down some of this stuff. It's way too thick back here guys I don't think I can make it any further so we're gonna make our way back I guess throw this stick that the dog's been paying attention to we'll throw it around for him because this is obviously all he's wanted out of this so come on let's go you got to turn around you got to lead the way this time oh. yeah bad idea I should have looked back here before I decided it was a great idea to bring you guys out here today with me oh so since I made the path, it's easier to get out. All right, all you've wanted the whole time. This is all he's literally wanted the whole time, so. Okay. This is literally all he cared about this whole time. I didn't get anywhere, so no sticks for me today. There are some sticks like along this fence line here. Yeah, I could get, but I don't know how bad they are in terms of termites or anything. I'm itchy already, guys. Let me see. Probably got all types of bugs, maybe poison ivy. Come on, come on. Come on, dude, let's go. Inside. Yeah, bad idea. Back to our normally scheduled program. Since you guys aren't going to see me get lost in the woods today, maybe you'll see me get lost another day. I have a bucket of some cut potatoes and a couple bins of rats who love potatoes. Give them just a quick snack. And I know some people love the rat videos. It's probably one of my best videos to this point. And some people hate the rat videos. I mean, guys, honestly, I'm a keeper first. And honestly, you've got to do what you got to do. If you guys think I, I'm a psychopath and I like killing rats, you might be a psychopath because you don't watch my channel. I hate it. Honestly, I hate, I hate having to freeze off the rats. I hate having to 
feed the rats, but I give them the best life up until they're, they're like, I guess dinner for my snake, like in the same, in the same sense. You just have to think. I know everyone who hates that I feed rats is most likely not vegetarian. Your chicken that you eat and your beef and they all get killed so you can eat. I have to do the same thing for my for my rats, but all you can do is hope that the food that's going on your table is treated the best up until its final days. And that's what I do with my rats. I take care of them the best that I can until their last days so my snakes can live. My snakes, lizards, and people locally who who get these these rodents from me, their animals have the best life up until it's their time to do their part in the food chain. As you guys can see, on this channel I have not posted a live feeding. I have not posted anything that shows any detriment or like I don't care about these animals. These rats are actually one of my favorite animals that I have. Honestly, they have the most personality. But sadly, they are the food that feeds all my animals and that keeps all my reptiles happy, healthy, and full. So, gotta do what you gotta do. This is a top view of where I was. As you guys can see, it's super, you can actually see my little trail that I made. Which as you guys can see, it gets super thick here in this area. And then there's the creek right in the middle. It runs all the way through, all the way down and it drains down there. But this is the super protected area that we have. This actually isn't even, my backyard ends here. My side yard is large, but the backyard ends here. And all this area is protected for the wildlife. I mean, you see those fallen trees. There's probably great branches back in that area, but I'm gonna wait till it cools down a little bit. Some of these plants start dying off. But thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Hopefully you guys can see me go back there soon. Make sure you like the video, comment, subscribe. Thanks again, guys. Peace.